My name's Sarah Quintrell and I'm a writer. I think I've been interested in the industry um, for years and years from being a child and always wanted to be an actor. I started writing um, a few years ago now. I think um, I love acting, I still act, but having that, being able to have that control of your work and being able to um, tell stories yourself and be involved in the creative process was really exciting. So I wrote a film. Ellen was my sort of breakthrough um, piece, which is a film about a 14-year-old girl, and um, that was through the Channel 4 Coming Up scheme. That was an extraordinary experience. The inspiration for writing Ellen, I think, was um, it was partly from my own experiences growing up, but also it was from um, news reports on the, the riots and on um, the sort of female uh, sexual exploitation that had been going on. And I wanted to um, look at who that girl actually was, who are these girls that we were talking about that, that weren't believed and weren't listened to. When I was developing the characters, I actually went into a secondary school for a while. I just went and sat in lessons and um, listened to the kids and talked to kids and um, get a sense of what was going on for them. And that was a really, really useful experience. I think one of my favourite scenes is um, in the service station. They actually take pills at the side of the road and they have a bit of a trip, but there's, a, there's, a, there's so much joy between them. There's great hope in that scene. They hold on to this idea that everything's going to be all right and that the two of them have the power to make everything better and to get on with their lives. And I think that scene, it took a bit of working on, but I really, um, well, I love the way it was directed as well, but I love, and, and the performances in that scene are extraordinary, and I felt like the girls really got that. The humour and the bond and the love between those two girls. When I found out I'd been nominated as a Breakthrough Ritty, I was bouncing off the walls. <laughs> I have been ever since. I'm really looking forward to meeting people, to talking to people. You know, I, the best part of my job really is collaborating with other people and telling stories, so that's the bit I'm most looking forward to is, is meeting people and listening to people and learning from people who have much more experience than I do.